Chand, today we'll learn about integers. Integers aren't your average everyday numbers. They don't just hang out in the positive side of life. They also explore the mysterious depths of the negative side. Before integers, you should know what are positive and negative numbers. Positive numbers. A positive number is a number whose value is greater than zero and it has plus sign before it. For example, plus 8, plus 53, 98, 45. All these numbers which have plus sign before them are the positive numbers and even if the number do not have any sign then also we can say it's the positive number so the positive numbers are the numbers whose value is greater than zero and has plus sign or they do not have any sign without sign also called as positive numbers now positive numbers in temperature positive and negative numbers are incredibly useful when it comes to measuring temperature In the Celsius scale, zero degree is set as freezing point of water. Temperature above zero expressed as positive numbers, which indicate warmth and can range from mild to hot conditions. On the other hand, temperatures below zero degree are expressed as negative numbers, representing cold to extremely cold conditions like those experienced during winters or in polar regions. This way, we communicate the weather conditions. Temperatures are warming up or cooling down. Like if the temperature is negative, we say it's freezing cold. And if it's the temperature is 45 degrees Celsius, it is scorching hot. Negative numbers. A negative number is a number whose value is less than zero and it has minus sign before it. For example, minus 9, minus 5, minus 8, minus 2. All these numbers are less than 0 and they have minus sign before them. So these are the negative numbers. Negative numbers in temperature. Negative numbers are below 0 degree and it's the freezing cold temperature. Like for example, minus 3, it's the freezing cold. Now types of numbers. Natural number starts from 1, goes till infinity. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, till infinity. Whole numbers, when we add 0 in the natural numbers, we get the whole numbers. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, till infinity are the whole numbers. Next, integers. When we add negative numbers in the whole numbers, we get the integers. Like 0, 1, 2, 3. These are the whole numbers. We include the negative numbers into that and we get the integers. So what is integers? Integer are the collection of negative and positive numbers including 0. So it's the bag which has positive numbers, negative numbers and 0. So this is integer. Integers are the collection of negative numbers and positive numbers including 0. Integers in real life, we have negative numbers, positive numbers, or we call, we can call them negative integers, positive integers. Temperature below zero is negative. Temperature above zero, positive. Below sea level, submarine, submarines are there. To measure their height, we measure them in negative integers or negative numbers. Above sea level of ships, we need to measure the height. Then we will see the positive integers or positive numbers. Spending money, when we are spending money, it's negative. When we are earning, we are adding money into our account, it's positive. Basement, car, park levels. When it's ground level and when you have to go to the basement, we, we can see on the elevator, they write minus one, minus two. So for that, we use negative integers. Floors above ground level, one, two, three. So they are the positive integers. If you have loss, negative, Profit, positive. Withdrawal. If you are withdrawing some amount from the bank, then it's negative number or integer. Or if you deposit, then it's positive integer. Any decrease, negative, increase, positive. So this way we are using the negative and positive integers or the numbers in our real life. Let's see what Aryan and Jay are talking about. Aryan says, 
aren't numbers just for counting things like cookies and how many times my little brother annoys me? Jay answered quickly, well, yes, but then teachers are so much more than that. They are like secret agents of the number world, working undercover on the both sides of zero. So here you can see zero, which is working on the, in the middle of the positive and the negative numbers. Integers aren't just positive and negative numbers living together in harmony. They have zero, the ultimate peacekeeper, sitting in the middle, making sure the positive and negatives don't get into too much trouble. Think of zero as that one friend who doesn't take sides. It's not positive, it's not negative. It's just zero, cool, under pressure, totally neutral. So here you can see zero is in the middle of the positive and negative numbers. Positive numbers are on the right side, negative numbers on the left side. And zero is neither positive nor negative. It's just cool, neutral number. Now comparison using number line. When we move forward, that is moving from left to right, numbers increase. And when we move backward, that is moving from right to left, numbers decrease. So forward numbers increase, backward numbers decrease. Now here you can see an example. Number on the left side is smaller than the number on the right side. This left side number is smaller than the number on the right side. That means minus 3 is less than 2. If you'll talk about minus 3 and minus 1, minus 3 is left side of the minus 1. It means minus 3 is less than minus 1 again. Minus 4 is also less than minus 1. So let's see the comparison of integers without number line. Now the positive numbers, all the positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. For example, 6 is greater than minus 30 because it's positive. It doesn't have any sign. It means it's positive. So positive numbers are always greater than negative numbers. Positive numbers are always greater than 0. That we already know. For example, 9 is greater than 0. 46 is greater than 0. All the positive numbers are greater than 0. And 0 is also greater than something. That is negative numbers. Before that, we don't know that. We said that 0 is the smallest number. But no, we have other numbers that are negative numbers which are less than 0. We can see example here. 0 is less than minus 32. Now if both the numbers are positive, then larger the number, greater will be the value. So the number which is larger, its value will also be greater. So like 76 and 23. 76 is larger number, its value will also be greater. So 76 is greater than 23. If we have both negative numbers, this is a bit different. Larger the number, smaller will be the value. Now what it means, like here, minus 2 and minus 5. Here, the larger number, not the integer, number is 5. But the value of minus 5 is smaller. So, larger the number, smaller will be the value. So, in this case, minus 2 is greater than minus 5. If they are positive, then we can say 5 is greater. But if both the numbers are negative, larger the number, smaller will be the value. It means minus 5 is less than minus 2. Now let's compare minus 70 and 43. They're very easy. This is negative number. This is positive number. Obviously, which one is greater? That is 43. Let's see the B part. We have the two numbers, 687 and 0. Both are positive. Positive numbers are always greater than 0. So here, 687 is greater than 0. Now C part. We have 0 and the negative number. Negative number is minus 982. So which is greater here? Now here, 
zero is greater than something that is a negative number. So zero is greater than minus nine hundred eighty two. Now we have minus eight and minus five. Both the numbers are negative. Now in this case, larger the value, larger the number, smaller will be the value. So larger number is eight. So value is smaller. So minus eight is less than minus five. It means minus five here is greater. Minus eight is less than minus five. Now eighty seven and minus nine eight nine hundred eighty nine. They're very easy. This is positive number. This is negative number. Positive numbers are always greater, even though it's nine hundred eighty nine. So we can say that eighty seven is greater than minus nine hundred eighty nine because positive numbers are always greater than the negative number. Again, we have both the negative numbers here. So what you will check first. Larger the number, smaller will be the value. So first you will see which is greater. You will say sixty-seven is greater number, but the value of sixty-seven because of minus sign is small, so the smallest number. So minus forty-one is greater here. So minus sixty-seven is less than minus forty-one. Now it's your time to do some workout. Solve this question in the comment section. section pause the video answer it and i'll check the question later thank you so much for watching please subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications for our upcoming videos